horror Honestly, musicals all day. Like Le- Levi, listen, Levi brought a lot to the table, and it was way more than I thought any any you know person his age could. Right. Um, he he really brought a lot of you know like and and it's fun like when you're when you're directing actors, you're hopefully you're doing a good job by saying we're not going to all go with my directing style. I'm going to kind of change my style depending on your needs. Mm-hmm. And so I kept asking him like, what's your, what's your process? What's your process? And he reminded me so much of what Heath Ledger used to say. He was like, I just keep reading the script over and over and over again until the character clicks for me. Mm-hmm. Um, he, he's not like, you know, you know, there's like the Matt Damon school of thinking, which is like you, you break it apart and you analyze each scene and you find the subtext and so on. He's more just feeling it kind of Heath Ledger does um, or did. And uh, and it was just so much fun to direct him because he was he was able to shift things very easily then on set if, if things weren't working. Like so throughout the film, he's doing this thing where he's kind of stroking his face with the gun. And that was something yes. that he brought to the audition. So he clearly has like a, like an awareness. Like that's not the kind of thing. And the way he's doing it, like that's not the kind of thing you can like evoke without having like an understanding. Yeah. So Levi comes from a really interesting place where he's been acting for a couple of years, but way probably more importantly to this role, he's been like the – like the boy face of uh oh god wait which which one is it um ralph loren he's oh, been yeah. like the poster child of ralph loren for years now and he's also he was and in so, peter pan so they're like monopolizing on his like impish good looks you know like he's like a pretty exactly he's a pretty yeah, child he's he's an absurdly handsome kid mm-hmm. who kind of is uh, uh, way smarter than people his age and so he kind of already gets that there's this bizarre, like, like um, objectifying of him in a weird way. And mm-hmm. I think he was kind of playing off that and and loving getting to play off that. Levi was way easier to direct <laughs> after the twist. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, no kidding. <laughs> because he, um, listen, like... He has spent years now on set surrounded by adults. Right. He's this hyper intelligent kid who's kind of used to being, you know, the only one on set. So this was actually a fun change for him where he got to have several people his age and and th- that was awesome. Hilariously, um it was it was the front act of the movie that is kind of least like him. Not that not he's not that he's <laughs> like the rest of the movie. Right. But he he's he's such a giant like personality. Like when when you're in the room with him, um, he's either very humble and demure, or he just lights up the room. Hmm. Um, so weirdly, like we ended up doing more takes in the front where I was just trying to be like, you no, know, like people can't see how intelligent you are. People can't see, you know, like the the crazy energy that you have. Um, we just need to play with this like charming boy who, you know, and who's got this sweet affection for his babysitter that part of you is like, Oh, that's weird. But then, but then all eighties kids, you know, are all, all kids always go for the babysitter. So maybe it's fine. He does it in a very charming way. Um, hilariously, he had a lot more like fun and ease chewing up the scenery. Um, which again is so backwards. You, you'd think it was the opposite, but not at all with him. Before we read Levi, my, my other top choices were all hitting about two thirds of the range, but there was mm-hmm. one third gap that just was not not in their in their thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Levi, like I said, like when when we auditioned him, I, I just got chills. Um, it was it was he was so head and shoulders above above everybody else that if we hadn't of you know, read him. I'm, I'm not sure how, how awesome the movie would have turned out. <laughs> Finally found Levi Miller, who has this enormous range, and I compared him to a young Leonardo DiCaprio in Basketball Diaries. It's like... That's exactly what I would say. Amazing. Truly amazing. Yeah. And the first time I saw him was in Penn, and it's not really that broad of a role, but I already had the feeling like, there is something special with this kid. He can act. He can definitely act. He's got the eyes. He's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. 